Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Duality and Nexus around the world. We got a crazy video, a crazy, actually, a number of videos to share with you guys. But before we get into all that, I want to welcome you guys back to another, another wonderful episode. So, if you guys are new to the space, I want you to smash the like, smash the subscribe, and share a comment or two because it gets an gives us an opportunity to get to know you guys a little bit better. And obviously on this channel, if you're if you haven't already known yet, we try to do our best to separate fact from fiction. So your comments are going to be able to help us be able to determine what's right, what's wrong, what's fact, what's fiction. So real or fake? Well, the decision is going to be for you guys to make. But in the meantime, I want you to grab yourself a, a nice beverage. I want you to sit back, strap in because it's about to get bumpy. So. Let's get this party started now. Knew who Jeffrey Epstein was, right? Uh, Bill Clinton. Nice guy. Uh, got a lot of problems coming up, in my opinion, with the famous island with Jeffrey Epstein. A lot of problems. Uh, and so Donald Trump's one of those guys who, like, is beginning to just slowly, the first layer of the onion, like, pull it back. Now there's so many people who are talking about the Kennedy assassination, Nixon's impeachment, the nature of the deep state, FISA won't be reauthorized. And it's not just in the political arena, even though that's what I tend to focus on here. Uh, it's also in the entertainment arena, where artist after artist, where actor after actor, actor, where musician after musician is beginning to see their downfall or beginning to see the light and literally reveal everything. You can see that with Diddy, right? You can see that with the uh, Nickelodeon series. All quiet on the set, right? HBO, wild Nickelodeon series about the predators who integrated, the true, like, monstrous predators who integrated Nickelodeon to prey on children. Children's Channel. You're starting to see some real evil revealed here. And so it's worth following that trend. Matthew McConaughey has never struck me as a particularly bad person. He strikes me as a good person. He provides mm. for his family. He loves his children. He's a family man. Uh, general positive energy about the guy. I don't know him, of course. Never met him. But seems to sort of be letting a rip, living his life. And uh, a very honest speaker. Speaks very plainly and honestly and simply. And it makes him uh, an actor that you like to watch because of those attributes. But he's also somebody that maybe is telling... Uh, like a message sending us a message here or telling us a little truth here let's read matthew mcconaughey says there is an initiation process in hollywood uh-oh and obviously the the subtext here that many people might jump to most famously is the initiation process of harvey weinstein we, we've maybe you've heard the tapes i mean they're horrible if you've actually listened to the evidence seen the evidence against harvey weinstein you can see why he's going to spend the rest of his life behind bars he just found guilty of another rape conviction in la I think the guy, he was in his, he's in his 70s, and he has like at least 40 years behind bars, and so he's going to mm. die in prison. But this guy was just a monster. It was quite, there was an initiation process with Harvey Weinstein, and the way it worked is if you wanted to be in the movies, well, you had to be, do some pretty dark and sick stuff. Uh, and it, obviously, he's an evil cretin that was able to exist inside of Hollywood, and nobody was able to call him out for a very long time because of his initiation process. The Obamas praised him at the White House. Had him at the White House a bunch of times. I think the Clintons still have yet to actually rebuke Harvey Weinstein. Hmm. I, I'm pretty certain that's true. So anyway, just kind of shows you how, what kind of initiation processes we know of that people have faced and been found guilty of and are now going to spend the rest of their lives in prison for in Hollywood. So what kind of initiation process did Matthew McConaughey go through? This is just what springs to mind. Matthew McConaughey made his way to Hollywood 30 years ago. Had some highs and lows along the way. In an interview, McConaughey says there's an initiation process in the industry, but he wouldn't have it any other way. Uh, I like anyone, but I've had my ups and downs. My start meter, my star meter has been higher and lower. I've won Oscars hmm. and I've been arrested playing the bongos naked. Was that part of the initiation process? I don't know. I mean, just, just, just really briefly here, at the Oscars... There was what many people called a humiliation process mm -hmm. with uh, a guy named John Cena who, like, had to go out and walk out on stage naked. 
So oh. John Cena did. Have you guys an, seen this? Uh, like what some are out. calling a humiliation process. Oh, they're actually going to show we it. We say too. weak men, hard times. The degradation of men continues. You know, many many are saying that this is clearly a initiation process with the Illuminati, right? So, and so on, and so on, and so on. The degradation of men indeed continues. And so is Matthew McConaughey talking about that, playing the bongos naked? The actor continues, Overall, I believe that there is an inherent goodwill for me, but it did not keep me from figuring out my own initiation into the industry. The Texas native went on to explain that after having skin in the Hollywood game, he wondered why nobody gave him tips and tricks earlier on. Uh, there's a lot of things you learn 10 years after being Hollywood, and you go, well, why didn't they tell me that in year two? Because That's there's an initiation things. process, he told the outlet. Uh, there it is. There just is. You can get tips, but you got to figure out because the BS. An initiation. Cut the wheat from the chaff along the way. Here he is speaking in, cut the wheat from the chaff, speaking in, well, biblical terms, quite frankly. Again, I, I, I like Matthew McConaughey. I, I don't see any reason to dislike him, I suppose, except for he's a part of the sort of Hollywood elite, and that makes you obviously automatically suspicious. But once again, as far as I know, and I don't know much, the guy's just a, he, he's a family man, he shows up for his wife, kids. Knowing what he knows, husband, McConaughey father, would not give his younger self he any his guidance. Process oh, in Hollywood I wouldn't tell him. Being, re- being arrested naked for playing the bongos. Look, I've had an incredibly, I've had an incredible amount of goodwill in my 30-something years in this industry. Um, I, like anyone, have had my ups and downs. My star meter has been higher. My star meter meter has been lower. I have won Oscars. I've been arrested playing the bongos naked. I have had poor performances. I have had, you know, I've had good showings. I've been better in some places and worse enough. Overall, I'd like to think. Well, I know for a fact that overall, the industry from media and people, I believe, have had an inherent goodwill for me. Not overly supportive. The, the industry did not keep me from figuring out my own initiation into the industry, which everybody in this industry has to initiate themselves. There's a lot of things you learn 10 years after being in Hollywood that you go, well, why didn't they tell me that in year two? Because there's an initiation process. There just is. You gotta learn it on your own. No publicist can tell you, no producer can tell you, no director can tell you, nobody, you have to figure it out on your own. You get tips, but you gotta figure out the BS, cut the wheat from the chafe along the way. So that's the official, those are the comments, right? In context, right? Said in context, Uh, arrested naked. What was this about? Was this some type of like, you know, was this some type of John Cena initiation ceremony thing? Illuminati ceremony thing, Uh, humiliation ceremony, right? Candace Owens sort of talking talking about this, right? Demonic rituals, Candace Owens says, for stuff like this. Uh, Matthew McConaughey was naked high and playing the bongos during infamous 1999 arrest. I was banging away on my bliss, uh, Oscar winner writes in book. So, what is this? Matthew McConaughey was naked playing the bongos and high on marijuana when he was arrested in his home by multiple police officers, the actor says. The Oscar winner's nude 1999 arrest for disturbing the peace has gone down in tabloid infamy. McConaughey finally setting the record straight. Uh, he describes the night in question as a jam session with the star deciding to undress, open up his windows, and smoke a bowl while listening to the beautiful African melody beats uh, play through the home speakers. What I didn't know was that while I was banging away in my bliss, two Austin policemen also thought that it was time to barge into my house unannounced, wrestle me to the brown, ground with night, night six, handcuff me, and pin me to the floor. He adds that during the arrest, writing, F you, mother effer, you broke into my house, F yeah, I resisted. So maybe it just sounds like uh, weed induced uh, stupidity, maybe? Hmm. I mean, this goes on and on and on, this clip. Uh, you know, check it out on The Benny Show. Uh, very popular YouTube content creator. I don't know, though. I don't know. They talk about this initiation process. Is it real? Is it just blown out of proportion? I I, I think it's somewhere kind of down in the middle, to be honest. 
Um, I don't know. I I, th- I think there's, you know, if, if given the opportunity, people automatically assume that there's something sinister, cynical, and in a lot of these Ritual things. to get into Hollywood. Real or fake? Mm-hmm. Tell me. Get really good at it. Down, sideways, or in the oh, And then you just keep doing it. Oh, Hollywood. Hollywood. And again, Hollywood. And again yeah. at least twice a day. Stay with me. Mm-hmm. You got a girlfriend? Um, it's a wazzy. It's a woozy. It's a... I want to. That's not why I do it. I do it because I need to. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> Can't tell you how excited. Cuffs. He still ain't been put. It's 91 counts, and the man gets more campaign dollars. Climbing in the polls, okay? And last time I checked, he still ain't been in cuffs. He still ain't been put behind bars. And he's the presumptive GOP nominee. You can't stop him. You cannot stop him. And so for me, I find myself ashamed of the Democratic Party for their lack of a competitive fervor. You had since 2016 to come up with somebody else. And you still can't do it. That is pathetic. Do you want Democrats to win? What about inflation? And then you're driving in California and you're paying an arm and a leg for gas. You're going to the supermarket, you're buying some milk, you're buying some bread, whatever. You're watching and you're seeing all of this stuff. Who's telling the truth? Do we have a good economy or not? Is it really a crisis at the border or not? I believe it is. Yeah. Is inflation a real thing? Is it imaginary? You're looking at all of these different things. You're talking about national security, the war in Ukraine. Should we support them? Should we give them more money than we've already given them? With four indictments, 91 counts, and the man gets more campaign dollars. Climbing in the polls, okay? And last time I checked, he still ain't been in cuffs. He still ain't been put behind bars. And he's the presumptive GOP nominee. You can't stop him. You cannot stop him. And so for me, I find myself ashamed. He's got a point. He's got a point for sure. I mean... Not sure what. Um, I mean, I try to stay neutral on this on this topic, but I think we can all agree that people are sick and tired of paying astronomical amounts of money uh, at the gas station, at the grocery markets. You know, I mean, th- there's there's folks who who make the minimum wage, and I'm sorry, but the minimum wage, minimum means it doesn't mean it's good folks now you can't hit on those people a lot of those people are doing everything that they can to make it to do an honest day's work and to put food on the table for them and their families on minimum wage the last thing they need is for all these guys in their monkey suits screwing it all up and causing the inflation to soar beyond to records high you know it I, I don't know if you guys noticed there's a trend going on right now there's a lot of young people coming on social media talking about how insanely expensive it is just to live in today's world and how the likelihood of them ever purchasing a home well they're not gonna say never but with the way things are and with the way things are going, it's going to be very, very difficult for them to get into their own home. Just think about that for a second. The average person coming out of university, if they make seventy, eighty thousand dollars $80,000 a year, if the average person coming out of school, graduating, fresh out of college, university, chances are they're not going to make that kind of money right off the bat unless they're in a very specialized field. You're either in healthcare, medicine, right? You're uh, even, even, I mean, lawyers, just, you know, gumshoes, like just coming right out. It may take them a few years or longer to be able to get to that, that point where they're making that kind of money. Unless you're in sales, but I mean, with sales too, it's so inconsistent. So how do you get by? How does it work? So you need to elect somebody in office who's going to spur in the economy, who's going to turn things around. Who might that be? Mm. 
made. We made love. We made love. That's Who you made love with? Diddy, Bow Wow, um, Busta Rhymes. <laughs> <laughs> you just told me you see Busta at the airport too. That one from China, like he didn't know you. You smashed Drake? Uh, no, I never smashed. Oh, you made love to Drake. <laughs> Bro, you smashing a lot of people. Uh, what's that nigga name? Uh, Terrence Howard. Terrence Howard. Terrence Howard. Uh, oh. Terrence Howard. Um, Usher. Usher's a gusher. What the uh, fuck? Why are you not naming the hoes? I'm telling you, bro. Uh, it's my dad's. My dad's friends. My dad sick his baddest friends on me. Who's your dad? Lucifer. <laughs> what you mean? I did. Okay. You're so, Jesus. Yeah. So my dad sick like every bad one on me. And I was like, whatever. <laughs> whatever. But the babies. Look at all the names Orlando Brown just made. He's telling the truth. Look at all the Nickelodeon stars that's going through all these things. All these things of Satan, darkness is coming to light. Everything that he's done is being exposed. Mm. We are in the end times. Wake up. Orlando Brown is telling you the truth about Buster Rhymes, Cat Williams, Usher Gusher, Diddy, Drake. Definitely believe that. Drake is up there. He is one of them. Something about him. The whole fingernail situation with him. The look. I'm telling you, he just smooth with his, but it's in plain sight and it's right in front of your face. It's kind of like Prince, in a sense. <laughs> He's kind of like Prince. On to it. Orlando Brown is not lying. He's right. And y'all need to see that. Whoa, that's heavy. That's really heavy. I don't know, man. I just don't know. Careers ...and help so many artists reach peak of their fame. And he is so innocent. Where are they? Where is Maze? Where is Justin Bieber? Where is Kim? Where is French Montana? Where is J-Lo? Where is Ashanti or Nelly? Where is Will Smith? Where is Ray J? Come on, where are all those people to help him out now? Where is Jay-Z? Where is Dame Dash? Where is Usher? Where is Meek Mill? Where is The Game? Where is Prince Harry or Kanye? Watch all of them because whoever is involved as victim or perpetrator they knew this was coming. Like 50 was telling us this was coming. How many people can tumble down with this scandal? Will they? And the last question, where is Diddy? Since P So, this person in this video is just, like, naming a whole bunch of celebrities. Still, not sure exactly what... Is there any kind of proof? Is there... I mean, again, I'm, I'm not I'm not saying that there is something not right here about the story. But you can't just be naming every single celebrity, you know, who's handshaked with this guy, who's met with him. I mean, let's see. Let's see what they find out. Let's see what's going on. Was the diddler? and his sugar daddy. Now this is the third video, but if you have any doubts on how strong this relationship was, well, he was even the godfather to one of Diddy's kids. And by the end of this video, you'll understand why the raid at Diddy's house looked the way it did. All right, let's get into it for entertainment value, of course, because I know absolutely nothing and I'm just making this stuff up. Now I've shown you all the connections that Ron has with Hollywood, Diddy, Ashton Kutcher, Michael Jackson, Oprah, Leonardo DiCaprio, but there was one thing I left out 
There was this weird thing with Anne Hathaway's boyfriend. And personally, I don't know how fake it is, but supposedly, he acted like he had connections at the Vatican. And when all the pedo stuff went down with the Catholic churches in the US, and this guy claimed that he had permissions from the higher up at the church to sell the properties off at a discount. And guess who was one of the biggest investors? Charm, Italian accent, and false promises lured investors to sink millions of dollars into his budding real estate company, the Foliari Group. Foliari duped celebrities, politicians, even billionaires like Ron Burkle, a close friend of Bill Clinton's. Foliari's scam, insisting he had close ties to the Vatican, promising to land deals on church properties up for sale in the U.S. All right, now let's get to the reason why Homeland was at Diddy's house. Now, I've already showed you how close these two are. Then I showed you that Ron was a part of the Epstein case, and we all know about Bill. Well, let me introduce you to another one of their buddies, Michael Ovitz, who's known in Hollywood as a super agent. And he's the co-founder of Creative Artist Agency, or CAA for short. And within that agency, he represents people like Tom Hanks, Steven Spielberg, Samuel Jackson, Pete Davidson, Now, Michael and Ron have been doing business together for a long time. And at one point in time, this guy was even president of Disney. Pretty important person though, wouldn't you say? Well, just like Ron and Bill, Michael was also part of the club. Hmm. Again, another take. When this satellite image of the South Pole was released to the public, until this one came out a little time later. What if I told you that in every continent and in every culture around the world, people have believed that the Earth is hollow? And what if I told you that in June 2014, scientists discovered something inside the Earth that would change everything? What if I told you that they found not just a lake beneath the Earth's crust, not just an ocean, but enough water that would equal all of the oceans of the world combined times three? I think you'd say to me, tell me more about this hollow Earth theory. Well, since you asked, here are the three biggest hypotheses. And by the way, let's see if you can guess which one of these is absolutely false. Now do it. Now do it? Uh-huh. Number one, Agatha. Now, you've probably guessed what it means when someone says, I believe in a hollow earth. But in case you haven't, it's this idea that we as human beings, we live on an outside shell. And inside our earth is an inner earth. Have you ever heard of Admiral Richard Byrd? Byrd was a big deal in America. Not only was he an American naval officer, but he was the organizer of polar logistics. He was a navigator, and he had some pretty impressive titles under his belt. He was awarded the highest award the Medal of Honor. And the second highest award was also his, the Navy Cross for Valor. Oh, and by the way, he casually discovered the largest volcano in Antarctica called the largest Mount Sidley. Volcano. So when you hear his eyewitness reports, just know we're not dealing with some greasy dude living inside of his mom's basement. No, this man is a well-respected citizen. This man is a big deal. The story goes that after Admiral Richard Byrd had passed, his stepson found his journal and according to these journals, during an expedition in 1947, he and his fellow explorers flew over, I quote, a mysterious land called the center of the unknown. But here's the crazy part. As they flew over Antarctica, they were astonished to see how the landscape had completely changed. Things suddenly got warmer and instead of the snow, they could see expanses of lush green grass areas. Hearing. And in one journals, it is noted that he saw a huge woolly mammoth wow. grazing on this grass. If you're already skeptical, I know for certain you will not believe the Admiral's next claim. He said as he was flying over this tropical landscape, two unusual aircrafts appeared and caught his plane in a vice-like grip. 
They then guided him down into a hole beneath the earth, and to his amazement, all of these ancient legends were actually true. Agartha was real, and before his eyes, he could see an advanced civilization with trains, vehicles, and huge crystal buildings that were ran by these superhumans. As he landed, he was led by two tall men with blonde hair, who brought him before the master, who then told Bird that he was disappointed in how we as human beings had lived our lives, and how we had misused planet Earth. Now, if you're wondering, is this the false theory about a hollow Earth? Well, just know this, if you have heard this story before, perhaps because it's been trending on TikTok and around the internet, remember this, there's one key piece of the puzzle that these guys have conveniently left out. But we'll come back to that a little bit later. Some would argue that what makes Bird's claims credible is because others have reported similar experiences. For instance, in 1811, Olaf Janssen, a Norwegian sailor, reports sailing into an underwater entrance where he met 12 foot people in a sort of Atlantis beneath the earth. And in 1943, a sailor named Carl Onger sailed his U-boat through an underwater passageway and was also welcomed by a lost civilization which lived on a place called Rainbow Island. But hey now, even very recently, drones have filmed some rather unusual things in Antarctica, like this face-like statue in the mountain, and also this. Did you know there is actually an unconventional view of the Garden of Eden, where some religious people believe that Eden is actually inside the earth? And when God banished Adam and Eve out of the garden for eating of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, he actually banished them to the outside surface of the world. But it is important to remember right now that this has no support from the biblical text. But that doesn't stop these religious people from taking the view even further. And they believe Bird when he says that he discovered a sort of Eden. And what boosts this view even further is the fact that just 10 years later, all the countries of the world got together and agreed on something. Now, if that's not peculiar in and of itself, I don't know what is. But listen, what did they agree on? They agreed in 1957 on something called the Antarctica Treaty, where all the countries of the world would promise that they would not allow anyone to explore Antarctica. Oh. And these countries here received split ownership. And get this, when Richard Bird returned back to America and started telling everyone about his Agartha stories, he was apparently told to be silent and to stop talking about it right away. What goes through your mind as you hear all of that? I think you're probably saying to me, come on Joe, this has got to be the false theory. Well, just before we jump to any conclusions, let's listen movie, to the guys. next theory first. Theory Tom number Zilla. two, inside earth is the underworld or hell. Do you remember a little while ago when I released this video where I told you about why the Kola borehole was suddenly abandoned? And do you remember listening to those ultra scary screams and also hearing about how the equipment was melted? Well, did you know there are certain religious people and cultures around the world who would believe Oh, what did I do? to the public until this one Antarctica they were astonished to see how the landscape had in a sort of Antarctica and these countries here received split own theory number 2 inside earth is the underworld or hell. Do you remember a little while ago when I released this video where I told you about why the Kola borehole was suddenly abandoned? And do you remember listening to those? Okay. This, this, this hole that they found in China. Um, wait till my video. Wait till my video this week. I'm going to be talking about this. Um, this is fascinating, fascinating stuff, guys. But... I'm not going to give it away right now. Ultra scary screams and also hearing about how the equipment was melted. Well, did you know there are certain religious people and cultures around the world who would believe every syllable of that story? Why? 
because they believe that beneath us is hell. The ancient Babylonians believed in a hollow earth and inside was a place called Kerr, a dark dreary cavern with dragons encased in primeval sea. The Japanese have a very old religion called Shinto which believes in a place called Yomi, a void space inside earth where all the souls who ever lived are gathered. They even believe there are two entrances to Yomi from Earth, one in the Azumo province which is blocked by a boulder and another entrance where all the seas plunge down to Earth. Thai Hindus believe in Patalia Lok, an underworld beneath the ground which is the residence of evil beings and its entrance is located in Machanu which is guarded by a fish monkey. The ancient Mayans believed in a place called Jibala, a place of fright and the land of the dead where according to Mayan tradition the lords of death will try and convince you to enter into their underworld for doing really quite trivial things like playing games too loudly and once they get you, they never let you out. The Chinese believe in a place called Diyu, a hell which is trapped inside of earth where souls are taken to atone for their sins and their view of the hollow earth is hell is separated into 18 levels all with varying degrees of retribution. And listen to this, there are 10 courts in this hell with 10 judges who will judge you for everything you have ever done whilst you lived on earth. Hey, this next point is quite important so you might want to catch this but did you know there is a whole bunch of Christians who actually believe that inside Earth is a place called Hades or Sheol, an abode of departed spirits. Now, before I tell you whether this is the false hollow Earth theory, let's first listen to why people hold to this view. Jesus Christ in Luke 16 paints a picture of Hades, that it is a place that is split into two sections. On one side is Abraham's bosom, a place of comfort, a place of paradise. But on the other side, is a place of anguish. And in between both these places, there is a great gulf which is fixed that no man can cross over to get to either side. And so the school of thought goes like this. The reason why these Old Testament saints like Abraham, who clearly loved God, the reason they didn't go straight to heaven, but they went to this place, this place called Hades inside of the earth. The reason people hold that view is before they only had sacrifices. They only had a shadow of what was meant to come. And so there was very, very interesting guys. But yeah, the, I, I heard about this, this hole uh, in China and how they're trying to dig the deepest hole than any other place in the world. As, as I mean, it's as high as you could fly in an airplane, but imagine going into the earth right down to the core. And this is where there, it, th this thing is shrouded in mystery and conspiracy. There's people who have evidence to support their screams and stuff like that coming from the earth. There's other people on the other side of the spectrum that think there's some like hollow earth or some other realm um, people living and fantastical beasts and all kinds of things. So very, very, very interesting stuff. Called new attacks appear above the ice. Then rugged mountain ranges as far as the eye can see. Bunger leans forward in amazement. His eyes have caught a sudden and unbelievable change in scenery. The universal white has turned to chocolate brown dotted with blue. A cameraman goes into action. 300 square miles of land without snow. Land that might be in New Mexico or Arizona. Pictures alone will prove Bunger has discovered a warm oasis in the shadow of the pole. It is for such supreme moments as this that men brave the hardships of exploration. The astounding, undreamed of fact is that they are over a chain of warm water lakes, whose shores, except for small patches, are free of ice and snow. Commander Bunger circles the largest lake in sight, five miles long. He comes in to make a landing. Water temperatures must be recorded. Samples taken. He finds the water fresh. The temperature 38 degrees Fahrenheit. On the shores are vast deposits of coal and of minerals of the utmost importance to civilization. Aside from their headline discovery, Bunger and his men have another good... Alright guys. 
All right, guys. Wow. Uh, that was a great lineup of videos. Um, started to kind of get started to kind of go in, into like a different path, you know, a path that leads to a lot of conspiracy and, um, you know, a lot of accusations. Um, it's it's hard to kind of talk about those kind of things, but it's there. It's around us. So I'm sure you guys have an opinion on it. I'd love to hear it. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Uh, it's it's absolutely incredible that we have social media and all these things are starting to kind of come out, right? All these kind of news and different things you hear about your favorite celebrities and people that you know. So very, very fascinating. And then the, this whole thing with uh, the China trying to dig down to the core of the earth and then you've got people claiming that there's oases, like beautiful like pieces of land with great temperature and and the water is like just perfectly pristine and nice uh right in the middle or like in little patches like all over the antarctic i don't know there's a lot of people that lay claim to this there's a lot of people who believe in hollow earth middle earth watch kong and zilla like watch uh kong and zilla watch watch the new movie with King Kong and Godzilla. Um, it's interesting. It's interesting. Love to get your uh, feedback on it. Okay, guys. That's it for me. I uh, hope you had a great time. I look forward to catching you guys on the next adventure. So in the meantime and in between time, that's it. That's another wrap, another edition uh, right here on Duality 9X. Stay safe. Be good. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.